Hello and welcome back to the Shaftland Server News Flash for Sunday, June 29th. I am back from PlayOnCon down in Alabama, and I'm happy to report that Brent, Eric, and even Wes are doing well, as is RP Gamer, who I got to meet in person. But now, on with the news. Our first story is that there is a new inn and library called the Cartographer's Nook that has been opened up. It is way, way out east close to where I have built a castle, and Cold Ankles has built some stuff and discrepancies as well, and that one nifty guy has put a lot of time and effort into setting up an inn. If we go in, you'll see it's marked as the Cartographer's Nook, and it has a dual purpose. It is not just an inn for weary travelers who are visiting. It is also meant to be a place for you to come and pick up books and read, and you can also contribute books to the library either by coming here and donating directly or by going onto the forums. The Grimoire is the first one that Nifty has created in the library. We'll just pop it open and take a look. Uh, it, there are limitations on writing books in Minecraft, as you know, but there have also been some pretty good stuff done in, uh, in Minecraft books. So if you feel up for the challenge, write something great, contribute it to Nifty, either via the forums or by creating a book and coming out east and donating it directly. So come on, pick up a good book, give it a good read, and join in. Every week I like to welcome all of our new players by listing their names here, and we are approaching 1,000 whitelisted players. So if you have any ideas on how we should celebrate that lofty achievement, go to the forum, start up a thread, and let's get a discussion going. I think we should do something, but I don't know what yet, so uh, make a suggestion. Let us know. Every week we like to list the people who have spent the most time during the past week on the server, and this week we have a new winner. The person who has spent the most time on the server is 64BitMaster. Congratulations, Bit. Last week I announced that the sponsor boards might not be working, but it looks like they are. So if you are one of the four sponsors who is included in this newscast, let me know if you have something you would like me to spotlight next week in the newscast, and you will get preferential treatment, because we like to encourage sponsorship. Thank you so much. We have two bits of Shaftland's YouTube content to spotlight today. The first one is... Ethan doing Sergeant 45 games. He is doing an LP on the Shaftland, so go check out Sergeant 45 and see all the cool stuff he has to show you. The second clip I have for you is a trailer by 404632 showing off the Shaftlands. So if you want to help promote the server, spread that link around, let people know about it, and maybe we'll get more cool people on here. This past weekend at PlayOnCon, I was able to meet Eric Fullerton and tell him that his face is on a milk carton. He seemed confused. That said, uh, hopefully he will get on here soon as well as the other hosts. Cross your fingers. As many of you know, we have a spleef arena on the Shaftlands. I am happy to announce that we are in discussions on how we can get it up and running. The big issue right now is that the spleef arena will spam chat messages to everyone on the server as it runs. I am encouraging our mod team to get that going anyways, as it is a small price to pay. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. This has been the Shaftland Server News Flash. If you have ideas for stuff you'd like us to cover in next week's episode, post them on the Shaftland section of the forum and they might get in. Thanks for watching.